Hi, this is Vic. On this video, I'm going to talk about open bomb integration with desktop CAD systems. We integrate with all the mainstream CAD systems, uh, and you can click the integrations button and have access to the plugins that you will need to download. So I'm going to pick the SolidWorks Extractor plugin with Workgroup PDM. And once I click that, and it's the same process for all the other plugins, when I click that, I will get a downloadable file, okay? So once that's downloaded, what you do is you click it and the wizard will come up and you follow the wizard. The wizard will guide you through the uh, installation process. So you just accept the terms and license for the plugin, boilerplate stuff, and then you click install and you go ahead and just follow the instructions. So I've gone ahead and done that. So once I'm finished, I go ahead and click finished. And now you can go to SolidWorks. I'm just gonna close this here and I'm gonna to go directly to my SolidWorks environment, to my model. And here's my, uh, my model. And I'm going to go to add-ons and just make sure that the add-on is already installed. I, saw, I find the SolidWorks Open Bomb Extractor uh, add-on or, or add-in. Uh, and there it is, it's the Open Bomb add-in. And I'm going to now have the settings uh, button and click it so that I can go ahead and set. So I'm going to enter my username and password. These are for open bomb. I can set up a bomb template which will define the uh, attributes or properties that come. I can choose between part list, single level and multi-level bombs. I'm going to choose a multi-level bomb in this case. And I can also uh, have cloud settings. These cloud settings will allow me to send and connect attributes or items in the bomb to cloud storage uh, like Dropbox and others. So once I've done that, I'm going to uh, not, I'm not going to send anything to the cloud settings. I can also integrate with Workgroup PDM. Should I have that? I can also extract bill of materials from Workgroup PDM. That's what I meant to say. And once I'm ready, I click OK. And now I am ready to export the, uh, uh, the bomb from the current model. It's just going to take a few uh, moments here for the, uh, for the export, uh, to export everything to open bomb. When that is done, I'm going to have a dialog box with a link. It just takes a few moments here. Now, when I click that link, it's going to take me directly into open bomb. And here is the bill of materials, completely uh, exported from uh, SolidWorks. And I can modify this, I can change it, I can create revisions, I can do all sorts of things with this. And what uh, I want to show you here is that I did export a multi-level bomb, and you can see the plus in front of the numbers in the first uh, uh, row or column there. Uh, what I can do is I can click the plus and that takes me to the nested bill of materials, okay? Now, everything with an open bomb is driven by part number. That's how we track relationship between different bombs. So these nested bill of materials are nothing more than bombs with part numbers assigned to them that uh, have their own attributes, or rather they're, they're, they're their own assemblies within the open bomb world. I can also click on info panel and view individual items with all the property values in them, should there be many, many different uh, uh, properties that I may not be able to view, but I can certainly view that through the uh, info uh, panel. Now let me do something. Let me now go back to the, uh, the dashboard and I'm going to show you what I was referring to earlier with regards to the uh, uh, part number. I extracted a multi-level bomb and you see that the part numbers are associated with each one of the assemblies that was extracted that build the multi-level bomb. Now I'm going to go back to SolidWorks and this time I am going to export a part list. Uh, I might want to now I'll create a part list, 
so that I can go ahead and order or provide my supplier or procurement department, uh, more likely my procurement department, with part list for them to order. So I'm going to export uh, the uh, bomb, and that's going to also take a few moments. Now the reason I created a part list is because I'm going to show you in a moment how to also export a bill of materials from OpenBOM. So I'm just going to do the same as before. This time it's going to be a parts list that I've uh, exported from SolidWorks. And what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm just checking here, yep, it's all there. Uh, I'm going to click the export uh, button here in the upper right, and that's going to allow me to create any one of Excel, CSV, or PDF uh, files. I'm going to export a CSV because the procurement department uh, might have an ERP system uh, that they can import this bill of materials uh, into, okay? So uh, that is how now I have been able, here's the uh, CSV file, that's how I'm able to import from a workflow, X, or rather, import a bomb from a CAD system, export it, in other words, from the perspective of the CAD system, and then I can export the bill of materials uh, so that it will go into my PLM or my PDM system. Well, that's all there is to it. If you'd like to learn more, visit www.openbomb.com. Thank you.